Breaking news, a heartbreaking scene, a Staten Island home decked out for the holidays, now the site of a fire that killed a six-year-old girl. Good evening, I'm Dick Brennan. Christine and Maurice are off. The fire happened earlier this evening at a home in West Brighton. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis is live at the scene with more. Jenna. Dick, just the worst possible way to start the new year for this family. Police say the six-year-old girl who was pulled from the home behind me has pr been pronounced dead at the hospital. You can see more than five hours later, the FDNY is still here investigating what caused the fire. Cell phone video captured smoke shooting out of the home on Brookside Avenue, still decorated for Christmas. Neighbor Paul Michelli saw it from his house down the street and rushed over. It happened really quick. By the time I got down down to the uh, end of the block, I saw you know really dark smoke bellowing out of the uh, one of the windows, and the fire firefighters were already breaking the windows and trying to enter the. Uh, the premises. The FDNY was called to the home after 5.30 p.m. and says it took less than an hour to get the fire under control. Michelli says he saw firefighters carry the six-year-old from the second floor. I saw the firefighter coming down the ladder and carrying her. She was young enough for one firefighter to carry her out. Police say she was taken to Richmond University Medical Center but didn't survive. Neighbors we spoke with were hoping and praying she would be okay, describing how heartbreaking it was seeing the family outside. There was one little boy, he had no shoes on, he was holding his dog. The kids were like hysterical crying and oh my god, I it's so sad. My mom grew up in the house that we live in. So, and I know he grew up in that house too, so that's why we know, like everyone knows everyone. So my mom was hysterical over this. The fire marshal has been in and out of the home, appearing to focus on the second floor, working to figure out what caused the fire. It's a traumatizing thing to happen, like especially the first the first day of the year. Like, oh my god. Police have not yet released the name of that little girl. Neighbors we spoke with here, some off camera, say the people who live in this home are a wonderful family and well known in this community. We're live in the West Brighton section of Staten Island. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Just so tragic, Jenna. Thank you.